There's a road. Let's check it out. What's going on? Shit, Trinity, get down. Damn. Crap stuck. I can see that. What are we doing about it? Follow my lead. What are you doing? Get back. Hide. You're the logistics guy, aren't you? I'm not the one who go onto a bottom bridge. Oh, hold up! I got him! Hold on, they're friendlies. Keep your eyes Someone open. should check back there. I'll do it. Put her right there. Make sure nothing can get through. I want this whole area sealed off. Yes, sir! If there's anything here, we're gonna find it. When's the last time this thing was serviced? This is rusty. Don't get distracted, Mendez. Someone should check back there. I'll do it. Put it right there. Make sure nothing can get through. I want this whole area sealed off. Yes, sir. If there's anything here, we're gonna find it. When's the last time this thing was serviced? This is rusty. Don't get distracted, Mendez. What are we looking for here? Anything that moves. Anything that doesn't. They still didn't find that relic. I'd love to be the guy that does. Me. Why not? You'd be a hero. I'll be dead, more likely. No thanks. I'll keep sitting here looking for hostiles. Less talking, more looking, gentlemen. Get off your asses. Yes, sir. Quiet. What's your team doing? I'll check. We're not paying them to sightsee. We'll have to go under. Yeah. We know there's the main temple. What we're looking for is any smaller ruins Wait. we might have missed before. Okay. It's really wet in there. I'm afraid if we move it, we'll lose it. We're gonna have to reinforce the bridge. Why didn't you test the bridge like I told you? Oh, I'm pretty sure we did test the bridge first. Fuck off. I'm not covering for you. Maybe we can pull it out. Okay, maybe. Let me think about that. We can take them. All right. You go left. I'll take these guys. What in God? Hide. Hey, Sammy. Those guys. I told them to test the bridge first. Son of a... Hey, hey. Sammy! Gotta find out what the hell's going on. Right. No, you don't! Fuck you! Stop! Thanks. You okay? Yeah. Take this. I hope that's the last of them. Trying not to think about my back.
Come on, let's go. Any idea what the twins in that room are? Could be anything. A pair of monuments or mountains or streams. I suppose we'll know it when we see it. Yeah. I see people down there. Hope they're friendly. I'll let you do the talking. Hi. Do you know if there's a place nearby we can stay for the night? How'd you get so deep into the jungle? You lose your tour group or something? <laughs> no. There were some guys here before, looking for artifacts. You with them? Trinity. Definitely not. Uh, I need a break anyway. Come with me. Oh. I'm sorry to ask so many questions, but the only B&B in town is my place. Well, you can't be too careful. By the way, I'm Jonah. Abby. Lara. Come in, have a seat. Carlos, three. <sighs> so, what are you here for exactly? Well, we were following the riddle when our plane went down. You mean it crashed? Yeah. <laughs> and you just walked out of the crash? Uh, well, you know, it was cruising pretty low. We are looking for Maya ruins. Maya, you know you're in Peru, right? <laughs> yeah, long story. Oh. Thanks. Well, you don't seem like a typical archaeologist. Oh, she's the archaeologist. I'm, I'm just a cook. Really? Yeah. Have you tried any of our local ceviche yet? It's a specialty. <laughs> Not unless it grows in the jungle. No. Don't tell me you missed our famous fish trees. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you take this? Um, Mexico. Why? No, oh, I've seen this symbol before. Wow. There are some ruins nearby, and a small rock with something like this carved on it. Do you mind if I take a look around? Oh, be my guest, but I guarantee they're not Mayan. My people were Inca and proud of it. Oh, uh, uh, why don't you rest for a while? Are you sure? I promised you a day off. Well, I'm not going to say no to that. Have fun. You too. Colleagues. She's brilliant. Hmm. So, you're not... Oh, uh, no. <laughs> Nothing like that. No, I'm, uh, pretty single. Interesting. New here, eh? Get used to doing a lot of nothing. Although drinking and sweating helps to break up the day. You're not a local? No, I work a ship that blew into some rocks just outside town. Storm came out of nowhere, sunk the damn thing. My ancestors, a long way back. And then they were Quechua, and then after that it gets naughty. I don't even speak the language. I think you might know what that's like. Where are you from? Hawaii, New Zealand. Mm -hmm. Which one feels like home? Both of them, neither. <laughs> <laughs> well, what about you? I've been here most of my life. Got my pilot's license in Lima, but when the oil company closed and I heard it was happening here, I decided to come home. Would you ever live anywhere else? Yeah. Now that things are under control, it might be nice to travel again. No? The end of football? It's a pretty big sport around here. <laughs> yeah, I used to play, but things have been a bit busy lately. Probably for the best. Football's okay, but rugby... There's a real sport. No way. 
You gotta change your mind about that. I'd like to see you try. Nunca en mi vida lo había visto tan ebrio como ahora. Those are some impressive tattoos. You too. Do you have any others? Yeah. What are they? That's a secret. But maybe you'll find out someday. Nunca en mi vida lo había visto tan ebrio como ahora. Porque solo se emborracha cuando está solo. Como lo hacen los expertos. Bien, digamos que es verdad. Entonces, ¿por qué no intervienes? You want to make a deal? Huh. Ah, hello. Are you here with the excavation team? No, just passing through. Okay. If you need anything, the market's in the middle of town. You can resupply before you move on. Thank you. My pleasure. Two years have been working up to never to ask her out. I finally do. And now, who is that guy anyway? God, the storm barely affected the village. The epicenter was closer to the plane, but it could have been much worse. What have I done? What if the earthquake hits here? Hundreds of people will die. I need to find a way to stop it. Kuakiaku. Just ask me. Are you the local tour guide? Mm, I know where to go. And who to steer you clear of. I see. Best fish is on the dock, obviously. Tacos are best at El Licor de Cerdo. But his beer is piss warm. <laughs> I'll watch out for that. Oh, and Omar, stay away from that guy. You don't need his kind of trouble. Thinks he can just come to town and take what he wants. Right. Well, I'll be sure to keep an eye out for trouble. <laughs> keep them both open. Have you seen my husband or my daughter? I don't think so. Where did you last see them? They spend their nights with the stars, sparkling and waving at me. But in the morning, they travel to the river. Oh. I usually see them shining there, but the storm muddled the waters. I know they're down there. I know they are. I think Teddy is fine. Holy Lord, thank you for this. Omar. Uh-huh. 
They've been working all night. And? Isn't that what they're paid for? Get lost. It's a- Shit. No. Now fuck off and let me watch the damn game. What is that? Sure would be great to get these thieves out of here. Everything all right? No. It's all terrible, as usual. These pillagers come to town, hire us to dig up our own relics, don't even pay us a living wage. And then they run off with them and profit. We are all desperate here. There's no work since poor Veneer pulled out. We're sitting ducks. And I imagine the storm hasn't helped matters. <laughs> The little we had is gone or underwater. I don't know what to do anymore. I have some experience with these kinds of people. Maybe I can help. I don't know what good it'll do. Did I catch your name? Lara. I'm Victor. If you want to talk to Omar, the executive lead tormentor in charge of theft and pillaging, he's in there. Thanks. Be careful. He doesn't like to be challenged. Piss off. off! Who are you? Looking for work? Um... Well, you're out of luck. We have enough people. Marco's in charge of HR now anyway. <laughs> oh, uh, yes, thank you. Do you know where he is? Where else? The bar. Sure would be great to get these thieves out of here. I know it sounds silly. Find someone to replace you. Oh, what? Those sites are dangerous, Marco. Anything can happen. I'm looking for Marco. Why? For what? I just want to talk to him. He doesn't want any trouble. I'm not looking for trouble. I'm looking for work. Work? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, sure. So, you're Marco? Tell me Omar didn't send you here to mess with me. If any of those animals hurts my son, I'll... Marco, I'm not with Omar. Believe me. What's this about your son? <sighs> I blew out my knee, so Omar took Pablo to replace me at the dig site. Said I was HR now and that it was my job to find a replacement. Otherwise... Otherwise, he'd keep working your son. Yeah. I'm worried he's just gonna keep Pablo up there, even if I bring him someone. Well, it's a good thing you've just hired someone. You? Really? You, you do that? We wouldn't want to disappoint the boss, would we? Thank you. If you see Pablo, please tell him I'm here. Two years have been working up to never to ask her out. Otra tormenta como la última. No, I don't want to do it. It's mean. Let's just pull up pineapples instead. Uh, what do we tell Javier? Tell him we got a new pet? Cool. This village was once under the wing and watchful eye of the condor. But we let the eagle chase her away. I'm not sure I understand. Ah, neither do I. We lost ourselves in our pursuit of things. Thought we'd be happier with coins in our pockets. But the eagle took that away as well. Ah, there was 
I haven't seen you around here before. I just got in, but I won't be staying long. <laughs> Don't let how it looks fool you. This is a good place. Difficult, but good. Your garden seems to have survived the storm. Hmm. Luck and hard work. A lot of people pitched in to grow it, so they all came to protect it too. Are you okay? You're coming after me? Are you Pablo? Yes. It's okay. Your father sent me. He's at Abby's. Go meet him there. I'll take care of these guys. Thank you. Thank you so much. Get out of here. That doesn't sound good. What the hell got into him? He used to bring us ten people a week. If you ask me, it's that brother news. Always do unionization this and justice that. Wow, wow, wow. Fucking snowflake. Are the fines here even worth it? They are on the black market. True. Almost 100% markup. Whatever we get for them. Need to get back to the village. Gather your things and go back to the village. Bless you. Thank you. This knife is a cheap plastic replica of those traditionally used to sacrifice llamas in the Inti Raimi or Sun God Festival. It was also occasionally used to perform trepanning surgery. The Inca believed that cutting a hole in the skull could relieve pressure to cure some diseases.
Did you see him? Pablo? Yeah, he was running toward Addis. Good, I hope he's okay. Haven't seen you around here before. I just got in, but I won't. Don't get many tours through here. Oh, I'm not a tourist. I mean, I'm a researcher. Oh, oh, well, still. Wish you could have seen this place 20 years ago. It was booming, vibrant, full of life, and so optimistic for the future. Pfft, optimistic. Gullible more like it. What happened? Porvenir happened. Big oil company out of Lima. They came in here, bought up the town, gave everyone jobs. They even planned to build condominiums across the river there. Until the bottom fell out. The oil crash. Now we limp by on the scraps they left behind. Shame you're not a tourist. Tourists bring money. Archaeologists just take. Pablo told me what you did. I... I don't know what to say, apart from thank you. Of course. You know, many years ago when my grandfather was still a boy, men came here and tried to cut down the wilderness around the village. Everyone was afraid to stand up to them, except my grandfather. A 15-year-old boy with an empty gun stood on the edge of the village and held back machines and men twice his size. Sometimes the courage of one person can outweigh the cowardice of dozens. I still have the gun he used to hold them back. I'd like you to have it, as a symbol of courage and my gratitude. Don't you want to give that to Pablo? My boy wants to be a doctor, like his mother. Say, what's your name anyway? Lara. I'll have a new story to tell now, Lara. Thanks again. <laughs> 